And action! So false of disintegration, culture lost and holy occupation. False Christianity, this would it be the death of she? But in the light she found the truth because she was seeking heat. Storms came and giants stood Cuts. tall. Hi everyone, my name is Likari Nwenaina and we're chilling with The Majesty and you're watching The Vault. Now, Auntie Boss is arguably one of the funniest TV shows out right now. Ooh. What inspired that, that concept? It's very interesting. It's like a, a different perspective that people would not expect to be. Mm, can I really talk about Auntie Boss? Because I, I came in as a director. Okay. I came in uh, after the late uh, Fox. Um, Foxy died. Uh, he was the director of, uh, of uh, Auntie Boss. I came in during season three, I think. Okay. I did about uh, seven seasons, okay. eight, and then I had to go for Spamodo. And then I've come back now. I'm I'm there to Vashita, okay. and also doing some writing for them as well. I think Antibos. I don't know. Well, the the reason I jumped on board for it is because I thought. It's just weird. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like weird. I mean, my humor is. I don't consider myself a, a funny director, okay. like a director who does comedy. I don't consider myself that. But because I feel my my, my 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 humor is totally different. Yeah. But when I read the scripts for Antibos, I was like, ah, yeah, I can connect with this humor. It's ridiculous. Okay. It's 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 not grounded in reality, and and so it was easy for me to transition into that. So yeah. doing. Are you picky about the kind of projects you work on? Does it have to match, for example, your humor, like you said? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I, I don't, I don't jump on projects just like that, you know. I want, I want a personal connection. Okay. Uh, be it a series, an ad, uh, whatever it is, I want, I want a feeling of either A, yeah. I love this story, yeah. or B, I can do justice to it. Okay. Uh, if it's not one of those two, I'm like, yeah. um, I'd rather, but I just go home and sleep hungry. Yeah. Okay. Then do something and then not deliver on it. That's every director's fear, you know, to do something and um, your interpretation doesn't match the expectation of yeah. the audience. I don't think there's a, such a thing as making a bad film. I think there's, there's a, films that your interpretation of the project yeah. isn't the expectation the audience have. Seals do not shed hair. Crap the crap. Seals don't shed hair. Is that crap? That is crap. Yeah. It's yeah. like seals. <laughs> the only thing I say is the whiskers. They're like, they, uh, aha. Fingernails never stop growing during a person's lifetime. They right. never stop. No one's cutting them. What? Stop. <laughs> Apparently. Oh. Okay, next I question. learned that. <laughs> what do you enjoy working on most? Commercials? TV shows or feature films? Feature. Hey, like, hey, <laughs> hey. I can't even, I don't even think about it. Um, I'm a, I'm, I like film. I think film has, there's more opportunity for you to be personal yeah. with film. Okay. Uh, as opposed to TV. TV, you have the broadcaster to think of, you have, you have your own producer, then the broadcasters have to, uh, uh, you know, so there's a lot of, too many hands. Yeah. So when it comes to features, I, I get more freedom to actually do what I feel like in terms of the direction of the story. And then also, with film, there's a sense of finality. Yeah. <laughs> like I can finish the product and say, cool. Okay. With TV, I'm like, I'm, I've, I've done seven seasons and I'm still, yeah. at one point you get exhausted mentally. I always you know? thought they have it predetermined, like they already know by season eight how the story is going to go. They just make make it <laughs> live it's just as you go yeah that's crap <laughs> sometimes you know like i read uh, i read up on prison break and the the, the, the creator oh. was like for me i only wrote two seasons and i knew the story was gonna end after two seasons and then after the success of season one um pressure. uh the pressure then the execs were like yeah yeah here's no money we yeah. need more and so he said from then on you have to get more writers it's the same with everything you have to take breaks yeah to take account and get the response from the audience. 
it's important. You can't just say from now till then, no, you have to like do one season or two seasons and go, what's the word on his feet? Are there characters that don't connect with the audiences? Are there characters that we need to give more flesh? Yeah. And so you have to take account with, with series. You don't you rarely do, you, yes, you can have an outline, but at the end of the day, it's all about viewer viewership. Okay. And so if the viewership is tanking, yeah. you need time to regroup. Also, yeah. how important is the selection of, of cast? Mm, yeah, I, I feel like that's a very crucial part. It, it is. is. Yeah, it is because the cast are the face of the production. I feel like the crew don't get enough <laughs> attention. Uh, the crew make the product, but the cast are the face. Okay. And it's important to have a good face. <laughs> okay. Not a good face in terms of someone pretty, I mean a good face in okay. terms of someone who can pull it off. Okay. Yeah, they are, they are going, so the, the cast is, is everything for the top layer. There are a lot of structures, but people will only see the icing first before they go to the cake. Okay. And the cast is the icing. They won't see the cinematography, they won't see, no, they will see the performance first, then dig into the cake and go, okay, let's see what's deeper. Ah. Yes. Donald Duck's middle name is Fanta Loy. What? Because that's so unique, I'm going to just say that. Yeah, it is. Really? <laughs> Okay. Uh, that I that everything new. Licarion. Is that how you say your name? Just Licarion. Licarion. Not Licarion. Licarion. It's just Licarion. Okay. Mm. What is a typical day like for you? There is no typical day. Oh, it's not the same. No, it's not the same. the same. That's same. why I love film, man. It's not a 95 job. Okay. Every day is new. Um, right now, with my filming, my typical day starts at 4.30 in the morning. Wow. I'll get wow. up. Uh, 4.30. If not, I'll just do my, my med, medication, my dedication, ah, what's it called? Meditation, no meditation. <laughs> I pray, I shower, I listen to some music, yeah. get my head in the game. I'm out of the house by 5.25. What does on the meditation day. mean? Are you thinking about it's, it's just, it today? No, nah, it's just um, clearing your mind okay. to focus on one thing. As a, as a creative, as an artist, you think about so many things. Our minds never sleep. Mm. And it's, it's, it's important that when you go to a project, your mind is in the project. Mm. So meditation might mean just slowing it down, going through the script for the day or the course sheet for the day, and making sure I understand this is what is expected of me today. So my mind is there. I'm not just going on set and I'm supposed to be directing a sheet, but my mind is, oh, what's my next movie going to be like? Or, Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I want my mind to be there. So I get on set by 7 a.m. I need to be on set. Um, sit down with my, my wonderful AD called Daniel um, um, and go through the, the course sheet of the day. Shoot till like 2, have lunch for like 30 minutes, and then continue shooting. My typical day ends at around 7 38. Sometimes the scenes become too many and we end up filming till like midnight or even 11 or 10. Then I'm back in bed, watch one comedy before I go to sleep. So that my mind is back and easy. I'm not thinking about, I don't take my job home. <laughs> For this one, I don't want to take my job uh, home. So like I watch an episode of Family Guy or watch uh, The Good Place or something. Something funny to, you yeah. know, let me, yeah. yeah. Exactly, then go to bed and wake up by 4.30. But when I'm not filming, okay. my day can start even at midday. Like there is no rush. Like when I'm writing and there is no jobs, ah, what's the... I just take it easy, man. Save my energy for when the jobs come, because it gets tough. Nice. Yes. Okay. You ready for the next one? Yes, sir. number of species of lizards have a third eye. A number of species of lizards have a third eye. That's yeah, I am going to say crap. I know fish. I've seen fish with three eyes. Fish with three eyes. Yes. It started out in Simpsons as a joke, and then they actually found one. By the way, but isn't it funny how many things Simpsons has predicted? Yo, it's it's insane. It's insane. Like people people start to worship the, the creator, man. Yeah. My Mark Groening. Nah, there's something he knows. Even 
Yeah, even Family Guy has produced a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, the whole Kevin Spacey thing. Yeah. They're like, yeah, ah, no. They were predicting or you knew and you kept quiet. So. And they kind of just put it in the Yes, yes, yes. Aha! Cigarette smoke has a radioactive content. Radioactive? That. This guy, this guy knows this <laughs> game. He was here five hours before, went through all the cousins like, we can't run. Let's just pick this game. <laughs> yeah, you left and came back. No way, man. I can't, I can't suck like that. Uh, okay. Um, who do you look, who do you look up to? Who, who would you call your inspiration in, in, the, in the film industry? Whose work do you enjoy or like? Um, honestly, I don't have, I don't have one. I don't have one particular person. I'll, um, different projects requires different sets of inspiration. Okay. Um, uh, for example, for like Supermodo, I drew inspiration from um, a, a, a Swedish director called Ingmar Bergman. Hey. Ingmar Bergman sounds fancy, but he was one of the best directors out there. And... He, he came from a theater background, just like me. And so his work has a lot of body movements. And so I knew for Spamodo I wanted something like, like that. So that's why I cast theater actors. Uh, Most of the majority of my cast uh, are theater actors because I needed a lot more of, of body. Interesting. And I knew I didn't want to play around with close-up shots. Like even before he filmed, I knew I'm not going to be giving close-up shots until it is absolutely necessary. So because of that, um, because I knew, because the movie is about community. Mm. You can't talk about community and you're giving individual shots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? yeah. It, it is an imbalance there. You right. know, community is about opening up the world yeah. to more people. And you can't do that and close your frame. Yeah. So I knew I'm going to need, you know, um, deeper staging, yeah. deeper frames, opening up the frame so it feels like there's room for people to enter. And so because of that, I, I look to his work uh, for inspiration. Depends. Sometimes I look to uh, Danny Boyle. You know, um, Sunshine is one of my best, best films. Uh, sometimes I'll just go back to V for Vendetta. Yeah. And yeah, and I was lucky. Yo, no, V for Vendetta. V for Vendetta made me the filmmaker I am. Like it, it pushed me. And so I worked on. I was so fortunate to meet the director of the film. Uh, James McTeague and we were filming Sense8. Oh. I was part of the crew for Sense8 season 2. And so we met and we sat down for like 30 minutes. My goodness, I was like, ah, this is like full circle, man. Yeah. And we actually enjoyed the same film. His, one of his favorite films is also Sunshine by Danny Boyle. So it was really good and then he signed a poster for me, yeah. which no one is allowed to touch in my house. <laughs> no one. No, it's, it's like it's framed yeah. in a corner of the room. With like with police tape, like no one crosses. Uh, so yeah, it was it was really good. Um, so sometimes I look to V, v for Vendetta, different projects, different inspiration. What do directors talk about when they meet? Movies. Movies. <laughs> <laughs> like we have no lives. Okay. Like like. What the hell did you use that? Ah uh, no, we have no lives, and and it, you come chill with me and my friends, you'll get bored. Mm. We, we can talk about movies from morning till evening. We have no lives. Like people ask me, Nikao, when you're not directing, what do you do for fun? I watch movies. That's and it's not a burden for me. Like I enjoy watching movies. So now, when someone like you watches movies, are you really watching the movie or paying attention to it? It depends. It depends. That's I why feel I like. Like you get caught up with the job so much. Nah, it depends. It depends. Yeah. Sometimes right now, I, I find there are movies I can watch and detach. Okay. And mostly comic book movies. Okay. When it comes, because I'm a huge comic book fan. So when I watch a comic book movie, I'm not thinking about the shorts, so I'm, I'm thinking about the law. Oh. You know, I'm like, oh yeah, in the comics, Wolverine was like this, and then in the uh. movie. So that is my world, that's a new world. Or I watch animations, so or I watch... Sometimes you're just movies. a fan. Sometimes. And it's important. Yeah, 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 sometimes. But sometimes you go, like, when I went to watch Mad Max Fury Road, mm. I was like, yeah, you know, I watch a movie, then I watch it, I was like, ah, crap, I have to dissect this movie. <laughs> I, I, could, I could feel my hand go to my pocket to remove my phone. 
like research on color code, you know, okay. Oh yeah, the soundtrack, Google the soundtrack. <laughs> so I'm busy, right? I just up and down taking notes. So sometimes I can detach, sometimes I can't. Okay. Yes. Up. Boom. Question. Porsche was designed by Volkswagen Beetle. Back to crap. This is going to be very, very bad if I get it wrong because my producers are German. One of them is German. Yeah. And if I. She. She. Yes. <laughs> Sarika, if I get this wrong. I am sorry. Fact? Yes! <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes. Alright. Um, Alright. So the breakdown of an atom is called fusion. The breakdown. <laughs> Think. Yeah, the fusion is literally the opposite. I'm just gonna say crap. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> this guy has Googled cool. this stuff. Ah, he has a phone, guys. He's Googling. <laughs> I don't There's no Wi-Fi. There's no Wi-Fi in Babo. <laughs> no. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a good thing. Let me ask you. Yes. If you were not a movie director, what would you be? What would you do? I would have been a chef. Nice. Okay. I'm going to leave it there because the other one is kind of embarrassing and people always no. laugh. Okay, I would have been a chef. Or a sex therapist. Nice. <laughs> I was actually going to. I was actually going, You see, this is this is the reaction I always get. Like you, the sex. Like yeah, yeah. I was actually going to pay for um, culinary school when I went to the theater. Okay. And like I was literally the matter to going to. It was JCC had a culinary school there. So I think at town and then my friend is like, hey, could you come to a place called the Kenya National Theater for a second? It's like okay. I went in, then there was an audition, I auditioned, I got the part, I was like, bye bye chef. What? Yeah. That moment <laughs> your life, yeah, I was like, ah, bye, then I'm gone, man. So, yeah, I would have been a chef. What? Yeah. You know, it's literally a phone call away that you could have been. Yeah. Sharks do not get cancer. Crap, to, crap or fact? Fact. Huh? Yeah. Sharks do I mean, not I meant crap, I meant crap. Like, look, I was only gonna hold him. <laughs> Yeah, no, because I've had that, that rumor of there are certain diseases sharks can't get. Yeah. And thought cancer was one of them. My, uh, uh, this one you know. I'm gonna... <laughs> Flies. No, this one you'll know. Flies have red blood. Crap. Yeah. Crap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I suck at this game. Last question. Yes. Segment. Yes. If you could remake, if you had the chance to remake a classic film, which one would it be? Any film in the world, classic one, and it's you directing. What would you? What would it be the one? What would be the one? Number one, it has to be a sci-fi. Nice. I agree there. Uh, I love sci-fi. This is very dangerous because you see with classics, man. But this is doesn't mean that it sucks. It means it's so good. I wish I directed it. Yeah. 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 Two thousand and one Space Odyssey. What? The one that starts with the monkeys, confused. Yes. Yeah? Yes. I think it's for its time. It was ahead. Man, it was so ahead. Yeah. Like even this, I got the behind the scenes. And I was like, this guy. We we are they are literally a hundred years <laughs> beyond us. Like. Like that, uh, okay. he was uh, Kubrick was insane. Like his thought process and everything. And two thousand one Space Odyssey actually it inspired my next feature. And if I had a chance to do it, and I wish I'd been, done it at that time. You see, right now, when, so you whatever you do, you make it. But at that time, yes. Okay. I feel like right now, any, anything you do will be compared to something, yeah. whether whether it was from your heart or not. Uh. Be like. So Nikaran was inspired by the film, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, you I like, no, yes. no, I've never seen that movie. So people overanalyze movies now. Yeah. So I wish I was, it was back then. But what I am grateful for is Kenya's in a position 
to have its own Kubrick, to have its own Hitchcock, its own Akira Kurosawa uh, and the greats. Because when we are we are the brink of the industry blowing up. So for me, people see, oh, our industry is so lacking. I'm saying, no, our industry has a lot of opportunities. You know, yeah. it's just you to step up and yeah. say, you know what, my style is Quentin Tarantino and I'm going to be the Quentin of this country. Yeah. Obviously, there's a... Quentin. Yeah, as in there is a Quentin. Yeah. But I'm saying in terms of being a pioneer in film in Kenya, yeah. me, I'm seeing you like that, man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. That was very No, Asante sana. Even yeah. if I lost at this game, fair and square. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm uh, the reigning champion. If you feel like you can beat me, you couldn't, so... Oh, it's a fact, actually. It's a fact. But I'm, it's still <laughs> crap, man. Yeah, man. So, Santa Santa, man. Marvel or DC? M Marvel movies, DC animations. Okay. Sapo cool. <laughs> or Mandazi? Sapo. Elf or Vampire? Vampire. Ah, Vampire. Discovery, Land Rover Discovery or Bugatti? Discovery. Superpowers, flying or invisibility? Invisibility. Kuna watu wata kusikia kini sengenya. Yes. Cities, Nairobi or Mosca? Ah, Nairobi, man. Ah, yeah, Nairobi. Nairobi. Yeah, I don't know who is it. Nairobi, but you're going to have time. So, a stash of memes or 10 million followers on Instagram? Ah, memes. For days. Yeah. Ah, memes. I can survive on memes, man. Okay. Sci-fi, Interstellar or Avatar? Ah, Interstellar, hands down, man. Yeah? Yeah, I don't even have to think. That's, that's one. Nairobi Half-Life or Disconnect? Ah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, Mr. I tell you, the, ah, that will be a flash. Ah, hands down, that will be a flash. Okay. Yes. That's it. And okay, how do, what do you say when you're, when you're done? Cut. Cut? Yes. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. Uh, again, AD2 Mamazaka, it's a wrap. See, director. <laughs>